Welcome back to my channel ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about cars that I think and really really should be added into Need for Speed 2019 once it gets released. With that being said, I did do a community post asking what cars you think should be added and the comments kept flooding in. Honestly, you guys had some really really good ideas what cars actually should be added. And one of the main request cars, as you could probably tell, was the Toyota Supra. Now as we do know, Toyota don't want Supras added into the games no more, but if you actually do own a PS4 and Gran Turismo, spot the Toyota Supra a couple of months ago actually did get added into that and that was due because of the new Toyota Supra that did get released obviously you want the old Toyota Supra to be released alongside that but anyways I just wanted to get like the whole Toyota Supra speculation get added into Need for Speed 2019 out of the way before we get into today's video and it is sad to say I can possibly see the Toyota not getting added into Need for Speed 2019 but if you are brand new to the channel hit that subscribe button and turn that bell notification so you don't miss an upload like this one and any future uploads later on in the future regarding Need for Speed 2019 and if you do enjoy it hit that like button now let's name some cars that I think that will possibly get added into Need for Speed 2019 there was one Ferrari that I loved growing up and seeing it drive around and actually use in racing video games and that was the Ferrari 458 there's two versions there's a hardtop version and the spider version to me it doesn't matter at all now in Need for Speed Rivals this was actually doable to actually drive in that game and do you know what it was an absolute blast to drive fast acceleration was absolutely crazy top speed was like 230 miles per hour and handling around the corners was just an absolute dream and to be completely honest with you you couldn't fault it at all i do actually feel like today's video is going to be a very very long one so i do apologize for that for me talking so much about this but i feel like it's very very important to get these cars named because for some bizarre reason a maker of need for speed could actually see this video and they could actually be like oh do you know what he's got a point we'll try and get the license to actually add these into the uni for speed the next vehicle i'm actually going to say that i think actually should get added is a bugatti chiron the reason why i'm saying bugatti is because the last time we actually be able to use a bugatti in a need speed game was actually need for speed rivals which is quite a while away now and it can't have only just been me that was confused that it didn't add the bugatti grand sport or the super sport or the bugatti chiron into need for speed because come on right every time back in the day when you wanted a fast car with fast acceleration and top speed and just looked looked like an absolute monster 95% of the public would go for the Bugatti Supersport. And with over 1,000 brake horsepower that beats the McLaren P1, um, yeah, I know which one I would choose. This next vehicle was my all-time favourite when I was growing up. When I played Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 2, Gran Turismo 3, I would always use this car for off-road dirt builds, and that is the Evo A. I'm absolutely in love with this car. It is my second favourite car to be in Nissan GTR. Just the look of it, the feel of it, in racing games, the sound of it, everything was perfect in this car and why the hell would you not add this into Need for Speed Payback when Need for Speed Payback is a lot of off-roading and Mitsubishi and Subarus are the main manufacturers to off-roading builds and I've got to admit every time I see an Evo 8 in the street it always makes my head turn no matter what colour it is and what it actually looks like it'll always be a gorgeous car so we're going to be talking a bit about the Lamborghini Centenario I think I pronounced that right I really hope I did but anyways that car is absolutely stunning that was the front cover of Forza Horizon 3 and you know what when we first actually got a chance to actually drive that within the game the look of it the inside of it looked absolutely gorgeous the top speed the handling the acceleration was crazy and to this very day it is a massive icon to everyone around the world but with that being said would I like to own one in real life no I'd rather put myself to the ground and own a Nissan GTR another very very popular car that we've all seen around especially on the Forza series is the McLaren McLaren Senna oh boy just seeing the dynamics of the wing changing when you brake and also doing the minor adjustments when you turn around the corner also imagine the customization you could do to that change the front bumper change the wing change everything about it the tires change the angle of the wheel change the height of the vehicle and all that type of stuff it'll just actually be good to actually be able to customize a McLaren Senna within a video game and to be completely honest here I don't think that's a fair shot when it could possibly happen right now I know I said at the start of the game about Toyota Supra not being added into a Need for Speed game, especially this year's. But if they do want more publicity of the new Toyota Supra, I think that would be a really, really good shout of actually added into Need for Speed 2019. Even if we can't customise it, everyone wants a Toyota Supra's in the game, whether it's the old Toyota Supra or it's the new one that has only just been released. I definitely think they should add it into the game, but like I said, I can't see it happening anytime soon. But I don't see if they do like a, some type of restriction on the customization parts 
what you can do to it. I don't really see a problem getting added. With that being said though, the next cards that I'm going to be mentioning are from the old Need for Speed games. Now, since it's the 25th anniversary of Need for Speed this year, I think they do need to add some more iconic cars like Ryo's Evo from Need for Speed Pro Street, Razor's Ford Mustang and just all the iconic cars from all the previous Need for Speeds, just add them all into a massive bundle into this year's Need for Speed for the celebration of the 25th anniversary. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, there are so many more cars I could mention but would be there forever. But anyways, what I want you to do now is go absolutely nuts in the comment section of this video and let me know all your suggestions, what should get added into Need for Speed this year. I love to reply and read everyone's comments so I will reply to as many as I possibly can. But as always, I really hope you did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.